and I am a year 8 student in the CSC program at Carleton College P12. I am proud to be a Football Academy student because I love representing my school. I joined CSC because I enjoy playing the game. I haven't had any successes with the CSC program yet, but I hope to have in the future. The coaches are super supportive and they've really helped me improve my skill and ability. Since starting school at Kawatha, I've been able to play different things such as trumpet or soccer. I love being a Kawatha College student because the teachers and the other students are very supportive and friendly. I strongly encourage you to find out more about the Kawatha College football program so that you too can share this experience. Good evening everyone. Um, my name is Yuban Lewis Palanik and welcome to Kawatha College online information evening. Uh, tonight, myself and my colleague Timothy Dacus will take you through uh, the Kawatha College football program and give you a bit of an insight on what's involved in the football program. First and foremost, I'd like to introduce myself and give a little bit of context of my role. My role at Kawatha Football College is the program director. I currently hold an AFCA license. I've had 14 years of playing experience, 12 years of football coaching experience, both in the NPL, youth football, and in senior football. And I currently work at Melbourne Victory Football Club as the head coach of the under 18s and the assistant coach of the under 20s. I'd like to now pass you on to uh, the technical director of the Carwater Football College, Timothy Dacus, who will also give you a bit of a background on himself and his involvement in the game. Thank you, Lewis, um, and welcome everybody. Um, my role at the Carwater Football College is I am the program technical director. A little bit of background about myself. Um, I'm a qualified uh, Asian Football Confederation B licensed accredited coach. I have over 40 years of football experience, which includes both playing and coaching. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to be involved in uh, a number of different football environments um, in the National Premier League, in a technical director's role in the sub juniors. I also deliver programs or head programs in the national uh, um, uh, skill acquisition programs I've been extremely fortunate to be involved in FC Barcelona Academy programs and also part of the national team for, for the deaf. And in saying that, I've also had uh, excellent opportunities um, to work um, in the Australian Sports Commission programs throughout. Thank you, Tim, for sharing that. Um, just a little bit now to move on to the Academy's focus. Uh, it's a great honour to be actually sitting here three years on and presenting to everyone and letting you all know that the Academy has been operating for three years with great success. Uh, when we first started the Academy, we started with six students and now we've, we've reached a total of 40 students in the program. And I guess the important thing to talk to you all about tonight is about the reasons why. The Football Academy is aimed at providing an integrated academic pathway driven by young students' sporting aspirations. We know that students enjoy coming to school knowing that they are able to participate in football. The program allows young students, athletes to enhance and develop their sporting talent while concurrently receiving their education. And for us, it's extremely important that the academic pursuits of students are of the highest priority. And we work very closely with their teachers to ensure that their sport is there to assist them in their academic improvement. Our commitment at Kawatha Football College is to provide a holistic care for the well-being of all students. We want to constantly monitor academic performance and ensure that they're achieving both athletically but academically as well. We provide a unique, high quality, specialised football program that gives students the opportunity to engage with professional football coaches. 
Uh, we create skills for academy students that provide not only opportunities while at school, but for also future employment. Most importantly, we want our students to embrace challenge, innovation and change. The curriculum pathway of the program covers a number of different layers. In 2021, we uh, plan to introduce the CFC mini root, mini root program, which will include students from prep to grade two. This will include one period a week of skill acquisition learning and lots of fun. The program then moves into the CFC academic level, academy level of grade three to year nine. The program content includes one lunchtime football specific session, two school periods of football specific training, and one school period of football training after school. The CERT 2 sports and rec football program includes students of year 10 and year 11. The program content includes one lunchtime football specific session, six school periods of academic and football specific training, and one school period of football training after school. All in all, the football program includes a number of areas that Tim can actually talk to you about. The content uh, um, of the program, um, every, every participating student uh, receives a, 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 a full training uniform, which includes a top, shorts, socks, and a training jacket. The program also uh, has inclusive football excursions, which students um, are, uh, in, indeed enjoy as they experience them. School sports games and, and further excursions, uh, individual player assessment reports, football nutrition education, uh, futsal training, balance and coordination training, football analysis, and the program ha uh, has a, a, a group of uh, Asian Football Confederation qualified coaches who deliver the national football curriculum. Some of the football excursions that we've actually had our students involved in over the last three years, and we always look to give our students different experiences, include the Knox Football Centre, where we've taken students to be involved in small-sided football and work on uh, synthetic fields. Um, also A-League games, which include Asian Champions League games as well. We've provided tickets to students and families. And we've also had students visit Soccer Fives in Dandenong, uh, playing in a tournament. Uh, we've also uh, looked at uh, taking our students to A-League training sessions. And depending on what's on during the yearly calendar, uh, we were lucky enough last year to take our students to the Real Madrid World of Football Tour, which was located in the city. And our students had a fabulous time learning about the game and Real Madrid. One important thing for the program is that we uh, also look at the athletic component for students. Uh, the CFC uh, program incorporates a physical preparation uh, to complement the football and academic learning of all students in the program. This includes, and every student involved in the program will receive fitness testing, uh, movement screening and biomechanical assessments, uh, injury prevention programs, and this will be based on screening. We offer the students on a weekly basis, the FIFA 11 strength, mobility and balance training program. Uh, all students engage in pre-activation warm-ups, uh, such as flexibility and mobility. And additionally, we look at the sports science uh, aspects as well, such as mindset, recovery techniques and nutrition. Uh, one of our um, colleagues as well is the CFC nutritionist, uh, who is uh, Sam Koppinger, 
She has been with the CFC program and has presented the last two years. Um, and basically she comes in and speaks to all the students and athletes uh, about nutritional education. Um, she gives a nutritional advice um, and she also um, gives students the understanding of the importance of nutrition for high performance. As you can see there, Sam has been extensively involved in high level and high performance, including Williamstown Football Club, which is VFL for five years. She's worked with Western Jets, TSC, TAC Football Club for three years, Melbourne Victory FC Academy, and Netball Victoria and State League Netball. So it's great to have actually Sam a part of the program to provide this service to the students. In 2020, we were very excited to launch the Certificate 2 Sports and Recreation course specific to football program. The course is a blend of hands-on theoretical learning about the sports and recreation industry designed to connect students to ideas, skills, knowledge that can be applied in ways beyond boundaries of a classroom. The curriculum is centered on the interests of our students, where the development of the curriculum consists in a variety of educational subjects and practices related to applied and experimental learning. Our goal is to bring out the best in our students by focusing on key elements of that define our unique individual learning approach. The course has been designed for the provision of high level um, sporting preparation. The program provides the opportunity to develop a, a wide variety of life skills, leadership and career development abilities, all delivered in a traditional state government secondary school environment and calendar. The course unit subject covers eight core electives and five electives, all inclusive. Further details can be, can be um, uh, provided upon your inquiry. As Tim has mentioned, um, for, those, for further inquiries, you can easily jump onto the Kawatha College uh, website, uh, where you can find more information about the program. Alternatively, if you wish to register, for the 2021 program. Uh, you can simply jump onto the link attached to this um, presentation. Um, we also do offer an um, opportunity for parents and students who wanna find out more about the program, a tour of the school. Uh, so you can get in contact with any of the three uh, contacts below and we can arrange for the school uh, and our school principal or the Kawatha CFC coordinator or the football director to take you through the school and give you a bit more information. Lastly, I wanna thank you all for taking the time to listen in on our presentation. If you do have any questions directly related to the football program, uh, it's best to contact the football director, myself, uh, on the details below. Anything in relation to the school, uh, in relation to the learning, other subjects, other offers that the school has, uh, you're more than welcome to, co uh, to call either Patrick uh, Mulcarthy, who's the school principal, or Bobby Peters, who's the CFC uh, coordinator and also a senior lead teacher. Thank you once again, and hopefully we see you at Kawatha College and the Kawatha Football College in 2021. Hi, my name is Penny Yodi, and I am a year eight student in the CFC program I call the College Peter 12. I'm proud to be a football academy student at my school because I love the game and you have a lot of fun playing your favourite sport with friends. At the start, I had some difficulties, but doing this program three times a week helped me get better. You get coach one on one, and the coaches really push you to your limits. We have versed other professional soccer academy schools. We have won and lost, but we learn from that. I love being at Kawatha College because you know nearly everyone and all the teachers are very nice and positive.
I strongly encourage you to find out more about the Kawatha College football program so that you too can share this experience. Mm -hmm.